Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel and in today's video it's going to be a little tutorial to show you guys how to replace the parking lights on your P3 Volvo. Now excuse the state of the car, uh, it's autumn here in the UK and the roads are just atrocious. It was washed last week and it is already absolutely filthy so I've sort of given up a little bit. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be totally honest and say I didn't even realise this car came with parking lights. It's this horizontal section here there we go you can oh that's disgusting uh the filth on there but it's that horizontal section there um i only realized when i was looking at the back of the headlight the other day and saw that there was two wires going to it and a bulb in there so i've ordered some led replacements we're going to fit them today and i'm going to show you guys how it's done because it's a nice simple job but again it's a lot of th it's one of those things that people don't realize needs doing so uh yeah, what should happen is when we unlock the car, I think I've already unlocked it, but um, those lights should come on. So we should get a bit of lighting, which is something that really annoyed me um, when we open the car. So we'll open the bonnet and remove the headlight. I'm going to do both of them today, but I'm going to do one at a time just because it's raining and it seems silly to get potentially get water in. So, um, yeah, let's pull the pins out like so and we shall remove the headlight I'm going to try and do this one hand for you like so Okay then guys, now you can actually see the sheer size of this headlight now. It actually takes up half a table. Um, this is like a normal dining room sized table. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the headlight up first because as you can see, it is filthy. So um, it needs doing. I'm just going to use some kitchen roll for that and then we'll get round to the back of the light. On the light, Volvo list all of your required bulbs. So we've got high beam low beam indicators stuff like that and then w5w which is what you need to replace this unit in here and i've got them just some leds from china um, so it'll be interesting to see how long these last they're leds so it's pretty difficult to make a bad led uh, nowadays but um i'm gonna get them out of the packet i've got six of them um so we'll see how those go should easily slot straight in so um yeah i'll clean this clean the light up and then we will get into the back of the light and show you guys how to fix it i'm going to use the mic to to voice this over see just thought i'd clean them while i was here though You can see how disgusting uh, it is, the car is. But um, yeah, we're going to open the back of the light up now, and this is really easy to do. All you need to do is flick this round, it's like a little sprung metal clip, um, and then you've got these two one clip here that you're just going to lift, and then one here, like so, and we'll pull this off. Okay then guys, so as you can see we've got the headlight, the rear cover off now, and as you can see it's got this rubber seal, which is why you want to sort of be sure that you, you take it off correctly and um, put it back on. It's got these, cl these clips that seat it in the bottom here. But our bulb in question is here. Um, I'll just adjust the lighting of the video so you guys can see it. Um, it's the one with the brown and black wire coming out of it. Um, so what we need to do is we need to release the clip that's inside, um, holding the bulb in. You can just see that at the bottom there. Uh, it's a clip you actually need to pull downwards, uh, which will then reopen the bulb. And then you literally just pull it out by the wires. They're fairly robust, these things. So um, let's give that a go and we'll see how it goes. 
Okay then guys, so we finally got it out. It was an absolute nightmare, but as you can see, this bulb is well and truly shot. Um, fit them in. So these LEDs are fairly plug and play, they're nice and easy. You just need to pull the old bulb out and plug the new one in, like so. A bit of fiddly to get in with, but nice thing with LEDs that you don't have to worry about touching them because they're fairly simple um, and they won't break. So I'll just try to squeeze this one in, make sure it's in nice and tightly because the Chinese LEDs can be a bit funky. But um, yeah, we'll just plug it back in and that should be nice and straight now. There we go, satisfying click in. Uh, what we're going to do now is try to fit it back into the headlight and I'll just move you guys around. It's not easy. Um, you sort of have to use the wires to position the bulb back in the slot and then use, I think, well I'll use the, um, the knife here to sort of push through and try and get the bulb back into the clip. It's a bit of a faff as you can see, um, but that's why I had to voice over this bit because I'm concentrating pretty hard at this point. So um, eventually after a bit of fiddling, um, it clicks in quite nicely and you get that clip back in uh, as, a, as it seats nicely, uh, which is good. So that's that one done. I'll just bring you guys in a bit closer so you can see it. Um, and yeah, that's, that's that side done. I'll give you another angle now. Uh, which is the other side as you can see I've got it lined up and I'm just pushing it in with the knife um, and then try a screwdriver instead because you can get a better purchase on it with that screwdriver uh, and as you can see it clicks in nicely it's a nice little feeling that when it goes in nicely um, and you're just going to make sure it's in position with the knife there but you do need some sort of long implement to poke through um, so yeah, we'll um, now stick the back back on the thing, um, back on the headlight, clip it in, and make sure the top clips are both in place to get the seal, um, and then we'll do the second clip on the side. Make sure we do this one, because uh, what I first thought the car it wasn't done, and there was uh, moisture inside the headlight, so it's definitely worth making sure you do it. Then just take, the, take it back out, um, stick it back in the car, the headlight, and stick the pins back in, and you're pretty much done so um why don't we now take a look to see what they look like okay then guys so we've got the headlights and everything back into the car as you can see i've managed to get a bit of moisture in this one but that'll be all right as soon as the headlight comes on it'll burn off that moisture because it'll get nice and warm in there so what we'll do is we'll turn the lights on now and give you guys a show what they look like um and as you can see they make the car look a bit more modern they're a bit like the facelifted one um, what I've also done is replace these side markers as well. They're exactly the same bulb and I've got a video on the channel already how to do that. And what I wanted to, was just to get the integrity between the LED in there and the LED in the side marker because without doing them, that was clearly much more of an orange light anyway um, than that. So it looked a bit funny, but actually now you've got that sort of, yeah, the integrity between the two. So um, yeah, it's a nice, easy little mod um the lighting game is always a dangerous one because as soon as you've done a couple you then start to go a bit mad um but yeah i think next plans is going to be to replace the under lights of the mirror and possibly the registration lights um and then we might even be able to go full led on the headlights as well depending on um how I feel at the time but um, yeah thanks for watching hopefully this video has been useful um, and you can reincarnate your parking lights on your car like I said I genuinely didn't even realize that they existed um, but it's nice to have them working so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know if you knew about your parking lights um, and yeah I'll see you in the next video cheers